Hello my little bunnies. I'm back in my camper and I'm rugged up nice and warm to talk about snooping. It's another good behaviour. Is it a good behaviour? Sometimes snooping is beneficial. Let's find out and talk about snooping. Oh, whatever is he doing? snooping. When you get into people's things without their knowing about it or wanting you to, you are snooping. When you try to find things out about people without their knowing or wanting you to, you are snooping. Snooping is being nosy in a sneaky, meddlesome way. No one likes it when someone snoops. Get out of my room. You have no right to snoop into my things. It is important that you treat other people the way you want to be treated. If you do not want other people to snoop, you must not snoop. There are some things in here I didn't want him to see. I hate it when he snoops. I would never do it. It is important to respect other people. Do not listen secretly to what other people are saying. When other people are talking together, do not try to listen to their conversation without their knowing about it. I wish I could. When someone is talking on the telephone, do not listen in on another phone. Can't really do this so much now, but we used to be able to. I wonder if you could. Do not spy on other people. Do not watch other people without their knowing it. And that especially goes for all you drone operators. It's not nice. I want to keep this a secret. Try not to pry into another person's business. Try not to learn things about people that they may not want you to know. I heard Cynthia tell you that she wanted to keep something a secret. What did she want to keep a secret? Please tell me. I won't tell anyone else, I promise. It is none of your business. Good answer. It is important to respect other people's property. Do not look into the windows of people's houses without their knowing about it. If the door is ajar, don't snoop. We call them peeping toms or peeping Thomasina. It's rude to look in through people's windows. Do not go into someone's room without asking. If the door to a room is closed, knock on it and wait to be invited before you go in. It's a good idea, especially if they're getting changed. It's always good to do in the bathroom too. Do not get into another person's dresser drawers, cupboards or closets without permission. Do not read things that have been written to another person unless the person says that you may. Hmm, I wonder what this says. It is important to read, res oh, not read other people's, to respect other people's privacy. It is okay for people to have thoughts and feelings that they keep to themselves. Do not try to get people to share the thoughts and feelings they may not want to share. And that goes for reading other people's diaries, parents and grandparents. It's not nice. Don't do it. I heard you tell Cynthia that you wish that you could do something. What do you wish you could do? Come on, tell me. I won't tell anyone. Please tell me. I don't want to tell you. I don't need to tell you everything. When you snoop, people may feel that they cannot depend on you. 
They may feel that they cannot trust you to be around them or their things. Thus, snooping is not good for you and it is not good for the people around you. Come on, tell me, what do you wish you could do? Tell me and then I'll leave you alone. Okay, okay, I tell you, I wish I could get away from you. It is important to treat other people the way you want to be treated. If you do not want other people to snoop, you must not snoop. So it's always a good idea to respect other people's thoughts and bodies and belongings and spaces. And don't snoop. Always check first. So my little bunny beauties, take care of you and I'll see you next time with being a bad sport. Lots of loves to you. Toodley.